Welcome back to Pathologic Classic HD. Near the end of the last episode, I enlisted the help of three butchers to get me tissue samples of infected people from this infected district here. And I got super, super confused, because I was supposed to... Uh, I was told to come here to meet them. To collect any samples that they might have for me. But, as you probably saw at the end of the last episode, I ran around like a chicken with my head cut off. Uh, getting attacked by infected rats and getting more and more infected with the plague, and I never actually found any of the butchers. It was very confusing. I still don't know what's up with that. I do have an idea. My current idea is perhaps they're waiting for me inside of some of the homes. Maybe if I try some of the doors, some of them will be unlocked, and I'll find them waiting for me inside, possibly? That's like the only thing I can think of right now. But uh, I feel like that's a faint hope and it's not actually going to work. So, I'm actually going to cut here, and when I come back, hopefully I'll have actually found the butchers. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay, so I finally figured out what to do. And thankfully I did it on my own, because I was close to resorting to like a walkthrough or something like that. It turns out, if you walk around, and I'm leaving the game paused here because I have so little time, I really do not have time to waste. Uh, so I'll just describe it. Um, if you walk around, you see guards like this guy over here. You see, the, you see them all over the place, and I found a guard that had a body of one of the butchers next to him on the ground. And there was grass all around, so the body of the butcher was really, really hard to see in the grass. So no wonder I missed it. Anyway, I talked to the guard, and he, was, he said that he caught the butcher dissecting and desecrating one of the bodies, you know. So I, I guess he ended up killing him. So that's one of the three butchers that was killed. And then I went looking around for other guards and other bodies of butchers, and I found another one. And this time I talked to the guard that was standing next to that body, and they said that, um... They said that after killing this butcher, what they did is they, like, wrapped up all the, all the carvings and all of the parts of the body that the butcher was desecrating, and they took it to the cemetery. So the cut-up body was taken to the cemetery, and it's after that conversation it actually updated my quest for today that said the body was taken to the cemetery. So I believe that's where I need to go, to the cemetery. Um, but of course I should make sure I actually trigger the thing first, otherwise it might not actually work. So let's be as fast as possible, let's go there, talk to him, trigger the thing, and then go to the cemetery, because Jesus Christ, I do not have much time. I'm so limited on time, it's not even funny. It's you, right? Oh, no, no, it's, uh... This guy. Yes, yeah, so there's the body of one of the butchers. That villain to chop up a lad like that. He must know his trade well. Eh, dressing carcasses and the likes. Look, over there. They're carrying the body with all the cuttings. Where to? The cemetery, where else? To prepare for burial. Why do you ask, sir? Professional curiosity. Okay, there we go. And that updates the quest. The body that the butcher had cut open was taken to the cemetery. So, let's go, because Jesus Christ, I've got no time. Thankfully, the cemetery is not too far, but... Do, literally, do I even have time to do this? I've got like an hour and 20 minutes. I think I'm going to have to take the sample to Reuben, right? I really don't think I have time. Oh, shit. What's the fastest way? Uh, probably to go back to the, the woman's house, the, the one who I asked to help with the butchers. Probably going back to her. Yeah, let's go back to her. I really don't know if I have enough time. I might have to load, like, an older save. I might literally just run out of time. Even if, even if I'm 100% efficient. I can't believe how limited for time I am today. And for the most part, I don't really feel like I wasted time. I felt like I was pretty good today. I was always doing stuff for quests. I was never just randomly going around. Doing stuff for no reason. I guess my big mistake was wandering... Well, 
I shouldn't really call it a mistake, to be honest. But I guess the... I guess the big time wasters for today ended up being me trying to tell Ruben about Simon's body. And I guess not realizing that Olgimski already agreed to not hurt the butchers, which allowed me to get the help of the butchers. I don't think I wasted too much time with that, but I guess I wasted some time. Oh shit, are they... Is that the body? Are they burning it? Don't tell me that's the freaking body. Anything I can help you with, good sir? <laughs> I, it's fine, I'm just picking the perfect spot for my grave. Jesus, that's dark. Was this body brought from, the in, from an infected district? Yes, we're preparing it for the burial. What's in it for you? I need it for my work. Ain't that right? Well, doctor's work is vital work, all right. It's not like you're body snatching for fun, right? You're working in the interests of the public. Yes? I can't tell if this person's being straightforward or suspicious of me. 10,000 money and it's yours. Are you out of your mind? I'm not gonna offer twice. You will give it to me since that is my order by the name of Governor Subarov. Governor Subarov? Governor Subarov is not my commanding officer. I'm a volunteer. Do you get that, Doctor? Or do I need to spell it out for you? You piece of shit. Am I gonna have to kill this person? I will do it. I will fucking kill you. I'm not gonna let this asshole and his greed stand in the way of helping these people and developing a cure. Silence. Know your place. Fine. Oh, fuck. Well. <laughs> Let's try that again. Okay, let's try this again, uh, but just real quick, let me talk to Grace. I wonder if she could do anything. The challenge. Uh, nope. Okay. Looks like we do have to kill them. Let's get my gun ready. Uh, I'm kind of low on health, so let's actually go ahead and take the bandage set. There we go. No questions. A silence. <laughs> How did, what, how are those missing? Come on. What? Huh? The, what? Why, 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 why have I just been teleported here? Yes. Um, keep your voice down and listen carefully. I've told these people you're not the person who ordered the butchers to cut corpses. Uh, thank you. I appreciate that. I don't understand why I've been teleported here. I had to concede that there's an unknown ripper on the loose. Twice a criminal. For daring to raise his knife against the inviolability of a body. And for defiling the sacred peace of the dead. I told them you weren't the real ripper. And we've started a manhunt for the real one. Good move. It'll put them on a false trail. These patrolmen were keeping watch at the cemetery. Right now, there is no one there. I will task them with blockading an infected district, and I will dispatch the next shift of guards to the cemetery ten minutes, do you hear? Ten minutes after you leave. You have a ten minute head start to do what you need to do. Hmm. Okay, so I've got 10 minutes at the cemetery, huh? Thank you, Governor. I understand and appreciate what this act has cost you. Except I seriously don't think I have time. Like, 
Holy shit. I... Fuck, I don't have time. There's no way! I'll try. I don't think I'm gonna be able to complete the main quest in time, though. Like, I'm pretty damn sure of it. Fuck me. Unless getting the samples is all I need to do for the day, I doubt it. I probably have to take them to Reuben after getting them, right? Oh, this is horrible. This is horrible. How am I so short on time? It's not like before where I can think of stupid stuff I did that wasted time. In this case, I, I don't even know what I could have done differently to avoid using up so much time. Everything I did was reasonable. This sucks. I don't dare check the clock, because if I check my inventory, which shows me the clock, time continues to go. I can't check. I can't check. And the map doesn't tell me the time, so I would have to waste time to check time. I think I, I mean, I'm pretty sure I can get to the body before time is up, but there's no way I could get to the body and then get to Reuben before time is up. So, yeah. Man, I wasted like two or three shots on those stupid guards. Assholes. Come on, come on, come on, give me the sample. There. Got it. Okay. Uh... Now what? I mean, I assume I need to give it to Reuben? Right? Right? Is that who I have to give it to? I've got 20 minutes! Can I... Can I get to here in 20 minutes? Uh... Maybe? Maybe? Taking the train tracks? It's mostly a straight shot there. I, I, I'm kinda... I find it strange that the quest didn't update in any way to tell me what to do with this sample, but yeah, I'm pretty sure I'm supposed to take it to Reuben. There's no way I'm going to make it. There's no way, is there? This is a nightmare. This is a double nightmare. Not only just what's happening in general, but just... This day in the game is fucking horrible. It's so stressful. I found a necklace. There's no way I'm gonna get there in time. I need to get over the bridge, and then I need to go through all those damn warehouses, the labyrinth of warehouses, to get to Ruben's place. of the day were fulfilled at the expense of several lives of your bound. A mime performance at the theater will feature today's events. 
Well, the quest is gone, so I'm assuming that means... <laughs> let's keep going and let's see if Ruben's there and let's see if I can give him the sample. Yeah, he's here. I think I just received a letter too, but whatever. The grip of the manhunt is tightening. Uh, I, I'm just gonna like blow through these dialogue options because I'm pretty sure I just like failed. Mm. I can't give him the sample, can I? Come from. Give me a sample, I'll test the solution. Wait, did I...? How do I analyze it? Oh, I need to, like, use it... like that? What do I...? Am I supposed to do something with it? I don't get it. I really don't get it. What? I just... I don't understand. Did I... Fail the day? What am I supposed to do with the blood sample? I'm supposed to analyze it, but uh, I mean, isn't that what I'm doing? Uh, here we go. What? Am I supposed to do something with it? Ruben doesn't seem to give what? a shit. I think I, I think I need to look at a walkthrough. I'm gonna look at a walkthrough. I'm totally missing something. This is so confusing. Alright, welcome back. So, I think I've figured stuff out. I did end up looking up a walkthrough, and the only thing it really said is basically that you need to take the sample to Ruben's place, you need to put it under the microscope, and then after that, you talk to Ruben. So I guess that's all you have to do? I guess that's what examining the sample means, just literally just looking at it under the microscope and then talk to Ruben? So what I've done is I loaded an old save from a while ago, from like six or seven hours earlier in the day and I just did the same things that I did before except faster. Like before I think I slept at the Olgimsky's place for like an hour. Um, this time I didn't do that, I ate a lemon instead. So that alone saved about an hour. Um, I didn't go over to the Canes after talking to the Olgimskys, so that also probably saved like another hour. And of course I was just generally more efficient. So yeah, I've just got quite a bit more time now. It's almost, uh, I've got about three hours and 20 minutes left in the day. And I just I just want to briefly say something. So I reloaded an old save to uh, kind of change the outcome of things because I was running out of time before. However, running out of time and, you know, the, the day ending prematurely and not doing everything that I want to do isn't the end of the game. I mean, as you saw before, the day progressed, right? And I didn't die and I could have kept playing. So it's not like what happened before, running out of time without doing the sample stuff. It's not like that was a failure state. And I do want to live with the consequences of my actions in this game, so I do not want to reload my saves too much. At least not for the purposes of escaping responsibility for my actions. So I'm not going to make a habit of doing anything like this, but the reason I did this is because I feel like it's pretty unfair the reason why I ended up actually running out of time. Because the game is... the game is really, really bad at communicating things to me sometimes. Like, finding the bodies of the butchers. Uh, the fact that uh, uh, the woman tells you to wait an hour before going there, and yet you don't actually have to wait an hour and it doesn't matter. And how the butchers' bodies are kind of hidden in grass or around corners and you're supposed to talk to the guards and... That... I, it's just... it's really confusing. I don't really feel like it's entirely fair and... I feel like if the game communicated stuff to me better, I wouldn't have run out of time. 
So for that reason, I'm okay with this, with reloading an old save to do stuff better, to get a better result to the day. But it's not something I'm going to do in general. If I feel like the reason I messed up is, like, entirely or mostly my responsibility, then I'm going to live with it. But this one, I don't feel like that. Hence why I reloaded. So let's hope to god this works. Alright, examine it. Yep, those cells look like they got smiley faces. Look at them ectoplasms, the cell membranes. Look at the nuclei. Cool. Okay. Master, what, have I is what, what is you this disease? So, what did you see there? Everything's dead. The dead tissue would not allow the microbial culture to survive. We might have tried to force the bacteria to reproduce. Uh, the problem is, there's no bacteria left. The culture has perished. Oh, shit. <laughs> Maybe it didn't even matter then. It's... It's not even present in the tissue. This is bad. Uh, wait, looks like maybe it's not. Uh, quite the opposite, colleague. This is outstanding. What we've just discovered allows us to suggest that sand pest does not linger in dead bodies. As soon as it kills an infected person, it leaves. It needs warm blood, rich in oxygen, to survive. That makes it sound like a living thing, doesn't it? As if it possesses the body until it sucks a dry of energy and, and the body dies and then it just leaves. Forming those clouds that you see all over the place, perhaps? How do you think the bacteria kills, Bachelor? It causes a massive contamination of the blood. In so doing, it overloads the cardiac muscle. In all likelihood, the infected suffer a stroke. That is something we didn't know before. So, in order to acquire the potent living microbial culture, we will have to get our hands on a still beating heart. This is borderline absurd. We can start to research your vaccine, though. Don't you have that unique source of yours? I do. In any case, our work must no longer be delayed. Not after the new hope today has brought. What does this mean? Firstly, it suggests that something as simple as house walls might provide certain level of might provide certain levels of protection. Certain... A certain level of protection? That's a weird sentence. House walls might provide a certain level of protection. Secondly, that the killer's life cycle is very short. Therefore, there is a natural restriction on how fast the disease can spread. As soon as the infection kills whoever carries it, it dies. This means the disease can be fought. Yes, there is hope. Although the enemy is invisible and ubiquitous, it is far from invulnerable. We have found at least one weakness. There we go. Ah, oh, alright, I feel better. The tissue extracted from the corpse did not contain the microbe. It perished together with the host. I have come to the conclusion that it may be possible to curb any spreading of the disease. Full isolation will be essential. Mere walls, perhaps, may offer some kind of protection. Glass walls, in particular. Yeah, so if you can truly isolate everybody, then I guess if they die, the bacteria will die as well, and it'll just burn itself out. But you do need absolute containment. Sort of like a, containing a fire or something, like containing a fire perfectly and just letting it burn itself out. Hmm. Alright, well now I'm finally actually truly done for the day, thank god. The other task of the day with Simon's body seems irrelevant. Uh, I can either tell the Canes about it, which I don't want to do, or I guess do nothing, since I can't tell Reuben about it, bizarrely enough. So I don't believe there's really anything left to do. I guess I should go back and sleep, huh? How am I doing on stats? Infection, slight. Exhaustion, extremely high. Hunger, pretty high. Immunity, good. Health, eh. Eh. 
So yeah, should I go back to Ava's place? I'd like to buy some food. Let's go back to Ava's place. I need to sleep. Although, I know I don't actually have to go to Ava's place to sleep. You can sleep at pretty much anybody's place. As long as they have a bed, you can sleep. And as long as they're a main character. I don't think you can just go into a random person's home and sleep in their bed. Ah, I can breathe a sigh of relief. Having done today's duties and there's still a little bit of time left in the day. Feels good. Oh, medicine, yes please. Oh yeah, I should probably use my lens, huh? Yeah, see how much it upgrades it. Cool. That allows me to do something. I have more l lensery. I still have no idea what it actually means for that bar to go up, but it's got to be a good thing, right? Let's do some bin looting before we go to sleep. Slim pickings today. No pocket watches or anything like that. Exhaustion so high. It's like one pixel from being maxed. Good thing we're about to go to sleep. I should probably speak with Ava too, see if she has anything new to say. My bedroom is warmer than this place. Nope, nothing to say. Let's take some medicine before we sleep. Should increase our health as we sleep. A little bit. The day is over. Your timely efforts allowed your supporters to remain unharmed. A new mime performance is being rehearsed at the theater. Ah, your timely efforts allowed you to keep those people unharmed. That's, uh, much better than what happened before. So it looks like if you don't find the sample, it is very, very bad. Let's get our immunity up. Let's take some more drugs. We're gonna need food soon. We need to check out the new performance, and I believe we just got a letter as well. Let's make a perma save. Alright, what is the letter? Oh, that's new, isn't it? Yeah, it's an evening letter from the powers that be, day three. Insofar as the victory over the enemy is comparable to learning its nature, we see you as our champion, as well as our scholar. We think it would be appropriate to inform you of the conditions of your victory. We hope you appreciate the fact that the disease is nothing more than an unfortunate coincidence. You should treat this as a basis for your, for your research, for if the outbreak is entirely accidental as the lack of any outside influence on the town suggests, then it should be comparatively easy to handle. Avoid multiplying casualties. Seek an answer in unorthodox methodologies. The cause of the outbreak is not of a fundamentally familiar nature, so you may need an adventure of sorts to remove it. <laughs> Probably. 
I don't think it's going to be a fun adventure, though. They seem to think I've learned its nature, though. I, I wouldn't say I've won any sort of a victory. Or learned its nature. I've learned a little bit more about it, but not that much. Let's not overstate it here. Have you heard? They have started to distribute the experimental vaccine. Hmm? There's too little of it, though. There's an experimental vaccine? Interesting. I'll need to, need to speak with Ruben about that. I've set up a whole laboratory upstairs. I hope that's fine with you. I understand that it can be rather annoying. It's nothing. Nothing at all. In any case, I won't be staying here much longer. What is that supposed to mean? Do you know why our cathedral remains empty? No, why? It isn't a cathedral, actually. It was supposed to become a cathedral. Yet, for some reason, it didn't. Sometimes I feel sad for it. Sad? Seriously? I could have been living next to a place where sacrament is performed daily. Anyway, I have to go. Why didn't it become a cathedral? What happened? Oh, I've got so much time. It's two in the morning and... I don't have that much exhaustion. Surely I won't run out of time today, right? Let's not take that for granted. Let's not take it for granted. Let's seize the day, loot some bins, and go check out the new performance. Let's head up and to the right across the bridge. Seems like the new performances done at the theater kind of sum up what you did for the day. It's a mock version of real life, except it disturbingly seems to reflect real life. Oh, it's a new day, so there should be new dialogue, right? Uh, although this is the same, um... Oh, this is new. What are you reeking of, my good man? Is this some kind of sap? Aye, Twyrein sap it is. And let me tell you, the Twire gathered at the Flabby Mud last year had extraordinary properties. Truly extraordinary. The Flabby Mud? <laughs> tell me about the Flank District, good man. It is adjoined to the middle of the Knots from Northwest. In simpler words, tis the western edge of the Middle Cape. The shelter, the Ravel's Mansion, is there. Why do you ask? So that's the flank district, huh? The northwest of the middle section, okay. Who are the Ravels? A shady family. There used to be a Captain Ravel there. Uh, here, rather. The only military man in all the town. But he was worth a battalion. If you ask me. He snapped a bull with his bare hands once. Used to hit nine models out of eight from fifty steps away. A tough man he was. I see. Nine out of eight is a rare feat. <laughs> it's, it's an impossible feat. No, oh, no bandages. the feeling he might be fluffing up the story a little bit. Nine out of eight bottles? Really? Oh, 
Oh, by the way, apparently the whole cemetery thing with me trying to uh, attack the guards and get at the body, apparently that hurt my standing with the town. So if you notice, my reputation is significantly lower than it once was. It's still not bad, it's still at like 75%. But uh, if I can do things to increase my reputation, I should. Play do we have for today? So it stays away from dead bodies, disappearing from corpses without a trace. It's been established that you can outweigh it if you're careful and discreet. The glass will keep the best as it's supposed to. What does it mean? It means we have a fighting chance. The infectious agent only sticks to living matter and is repelled by dead surfaces. Those who remain indoors are more likely to survive. Scurrying and making a fuss means death. All in all, we can fight. You self-serving jerk. You've got your own agenda, haven't you? You're always up for a fight. You just need an adversary. What about the people? Hush. Don't you get in his way. He seems to have a plan. It's all wrong. It's no good at all. The other characters in the play, the Changeling and the Haruspex, or however you say their name, they seem angry at the Bachelor still. Thinking that the Bachelor's just being selfish or not actually going to help the people. We have sufficient strength to support the misfortunes of others. I mean, I'm studying the damn pathogen. Is that not the best thing, the best hope for the town, the best thing for the people? Trying to find a cure for this thing? Even the wisest of men may be so indifferent in ordinary matters, but they are seldom so in their most serious affairs. Whew. Alright, do we have any letters for this day? We do not. Okay, so we are actually free to do, really, whatever we want. I'm sure in just a little while, probably early in the morning, we'll get a letter from somebody. Which will give us an idea of what we're expected to do for the day, but for now, we are free. It feels good to feel, however slight, a sense of freedom. Compared to day three, thank god day three is over, that was a nightmare. Especially towards the end. Jesus. So, I hope you've enjoyed so far, and when I return, I'm going to, well, frankly, I'm not quite sure. I guess the first thing I'm going to do is probably find something to eat. <laughs>